Breaking. Joe Biden beats Donald Trump to win U.S. election. Joe Biden has won the presidency by clinching Pennsylvania and its 20 electoral votes. The AP has just announced. Joseph R. Biden Jr. was elected president of the United States on Saturday, defeating President Trump after campaigning on a promise to restore civility and stability to American politics and to expand the government's role in guiding the country through the surging coronavirus pandemic. Mr. Biden, 77, who will become the 46th president and the oldest man ever sworn into the office, secured the needed 270 votes from the Electoral College at Pennsylvania was called for him. Though the race was far closer than many Democrats, Republicans, and poll stars had expected, the result also provided a history-making moment for President-elect Biden's running mate, Senator Kamala Harris of California, who became the first woman and first woman of color on a winning presidential ticket. With, he, with his third run for the White House, after unsuccessful beats in 1988 and 2008, and after spending eight years as President Barack Obama's vice president, Mr. Biden finally attained a goal that he has dreamed of for decades. Capping a career, sorry, capping a career in national politics that began with a victory in a 1972 Senate race here in Delaware. He was swept into office this year with the support of a diverse coalition of young voters, or younger voters, older voters, black Americans, and white college educated voters, particularly women. Mr. Biden's triumph concluded an extraordinary election that was expected to set modern records for turnout. Despite being held amid a pandemic that has upended life across the United States, more than 100 million Americans voted before election day as states sought to make voting safer putting the nation on track for the largest turnout in a century over the final vote, once the final vote is tallied. Mr. Biden also won the popular vote by nearly three percentage points with more than 74 million votes, broke the record or the vote record set by Mr. Obama in 2012. Mr. Trump received more than 70 million votes, far more than the 63 million he received in 2016 when he beat Hillary Clinton while losing the popular vote. Voters overcame their fears of the coronavirus, long lines at the polls, and the vexing challenges of a transformed election system to render a verdict on Mr. Trump's chaotic a norm-breaking presidency. Mr. Trump was the first incumbent president to lose a bid for re-election since George H.W. Bush lost to Bill Clinton in 1992. Still, the race was not the landslide many Democrats had hoped for. Mr. Biden lost a number of important battleground states where he had invested some time and resources, most notably Florida, amid signs of challenges with a number of Latino constituencies. The Trump campaign and Republican lawyers have already begun a wide-ranging legal assault to challenge Democratic votes and victories in key swing states. Part of a long telegraphed effort to call the validity of the election into question. Mr. Trump, who baselessly declared victory early Wednesday, 
before votes were tallied in multiple states, had regularly questioned the legitimacy of the election as polls showed him trailing. And it was not immediately clear how he would respond to the news of Mr. Biden's victory. Much of Mr. Biden's agenda in office may rest on his ability to work with Congress, to work with Congress. Democrats have maintained their hold on the House, but had a much narrower path to reclaiming control of the Senate. The President-elect Joe Biden has issued a statement on Saturday after the 2020 presidential race was called, saying he was honored and humbled by the trust the American people have placed in him. According to him, he said, we congratulate, okay. According to him, he said, I am honored and humbled by the trust the American people have placed in me and in Vice President-elect Harris. In the face of unprecedented obstacles, a record number of American voted, Americans voted, proving once again that democracy beats deep into the heart of America. With the campaign over, it's time to put the anger and the harsh rhetoric behind us and come together as a nation. It's time for America to unite and to heal. We are the United States of America and there's nothing we can't do if we do it together, he says. After an election unlike any other, the results are in. Joe Biden will become the 46th president of the United States. Kamala Harris will become the first woman vice president and the first black and South Asian American to hold the office of vice president. Statement from the Trump campaign. President Trump is not considering to concede or dropping the bogus lawsuits to challenge the results. According to the statement that was released, we all know why Joe Biden is rushing to falsely pose as the winner and why his media allies are trying so hard to help him. They don't want the truth to be exposed. The simple fact is this election is far from over. Joe Biden has not been certified as the winner of any states, let alone any of the highly contested states headed for mandatory recounts or states where our campaign has valid, has valid and legitimate legal challenges that could determine the ultimate victor. In Pennsylvania, for example, our legal observers were not permitted meaningful access to watch the counting process. Legal votes decide who is president, not the news media. Beginning Monday, our campaign will start prosecuting our court, our case in court to ensure election laws are fully upheld and the rightful winner is seated. The American people are entitled to an honest election that means counting all legal ballots and not counting any illegal ballots. This is the only way to ensure the public has full confidence in our election. It remains shocking that the Biden campaign refuses to agree with this basic principle and wants ballots counted even if they are fraudulent, manufactured or cast by ineligible or deceased voters. Only a party engaged in wrongdoing would unlawfully keep observers out of the count room and then fight in court to block their access. So, what is Biden hiding? I will not rest until the American people have the honest vote count they deserve and that democracy demands, President Donald J. Trump. Joe Biden has not been certified as the winner of any state, according to Donald Trump, but it is what it is. 
we keep our fingers crossed and uh, we'll see how things unfold well don't forget to subscribe to this channel please drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now